Hey everyone, it's me again Valeriana and welcome back to my channel. I will be making my first unboxing video which is nabili ko sa Lazada. This is worth 700 plus. Binayaran ko siya worth 815 since may kasama na siyang shipping fee. Well, actually, tatlo yung pinurchase ko sa Lazada. Ito yung inuna kong i-vlog since for me, this is the most important important thing na meron ng isang vlogger. So, if you want to check this out, then keep on watching. This is the Minigun Directional Video Condenser Microphone. And what's included in the box is the windscreen gaze. A microphone that is actually made of metal. The microphone nya is left and right, and then front. A shock mount. And yung dalawang. 3.5 mm to audio output cable. So what's the difference between the two? Atong isa ay ginagamit for smartphones. Well, this one is ginagamit sa camcorders, audio recorders, and DSLRs. And also this leather pouch, na very cute. And the last one is the manual. You will notice itong dalawang 3.5 mm connector na included sa box ay may dalawa ding parehong ports. This one is for microphone only, while this one is for our recording devices. Now we know the difference between the two connectors. I try na natin i assemble. Yung loob nitong windscreen gaze is made of rubber. Sa mga di nakakaalam kung para saan ba itong cute feathery pop filter or windscreen gaze, this is actually a noise protection filter sa ating microphone. This is very helpful kapag nasa closed room ka or nasa studio ka and may naka-on ng EC or electric fan. And lalo na kapag nasa labas ka, nire-reduce nito yung impact ng loud noises sa lugar kung nasaan ka.
I will use my old yunteng mini tripod para makita natin yung itsura niya ng nakastand. Right now, I am using the internal microphone of my smartphone. And actually, nasa harapan ako ng electric fan. Ngayon naman, I'm using the MG1 minigun microphone. So, let's see the difference between the two. Well, obviously, mas maganda yung register ng boses ko using this minigun microphone. My first impression to this product is sa price niya, napakamura i-compare sa Boya. Boya is worth $1,450. And then, ito nabili ko lang $700 plus. Well, masasabi ko mukha naman siyang matibay dahil made of metal yung kanyang microphone. And then, okay yung quality ng boses ko. Lalo na kapag nasa tapat ng electric fan. Maririnig mo pa rin na clear yung register ng voice ko. So, advisable na meron talagang microphone ang isang vlogger lalo na kung mag-shoot kayo or mag-vlog kayo sa moving open vehicle kasi hindi may iwasan na mahangin talaga siya so effective na gumamit kayo ng ganitong klaseng microphone and lalo na nasa gilid kayo ng kalsada Hindi may iwasang maraming vehicles ang dumadaan and sobrang ingay. Hindi naman talaga may iwasan na ma-pick up nitong microphone ang mga ingay lalo na kung nasa loud environment ka. Make sure that the microphone is as close as possible to the subject. So ayan, I'm so happy na meron akong ganitong microphone na na-purchase. Makakapag-vlog na ako anytime, anywhere na gusto ko. Hindi katulad ng dati, hindi talaga ako makakapag-vlog. Nang gising ang anak ko and may naka-on na TV. Katulad ngayon, ang kulit-kulit nitong isa. And may nanonood pang movie. Plus, naka-on ng electric fan. Kaya, this is a big help talaga for me. So, kung i rate ko siya, 5 star. So, ayan. Thank you for watching again. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like my video. If you have any questions or queries, let me know what you think. Just comment down below. Comment down below. <laughs> Just comment down below and I will try to reply to you whenever I am online.